Contrary to popular belief, UGA was not my first option as an 18-year-old kid out of North Clayton High School. Florida State had a pretty good offensive coordinator who I was very keen on and wanted to play for. After wooing me to FSU weeks later, he takes the Georgia job, and the night he takes the job, he is in my living room for the dogs. From that day forward, falling Coach Rick to UGA was one of the best decisions of my life. You know, there's other guys that had already been committed to Georgia, right? but you're the first one to commit to Coach Rick. And that, that was huge for me. That was a big boost for yeah. me, for sure. I was excited to tell you to be able to, to come play for you was, uh, was a pleasure for sure. Um, but here's a picture of us standing <laughs> on the podium uh, after we won the SEC championship. And, uh, and you're the MVP, by the way. Was MVP, and the caption was, I was hoping you would leave with a big smile on your face. And I thought that is exactly who you are and what you were about during that time. So I thought uh, it'd be something you would love to see. Uh, obviously, uh, it's something that I keep dear. I have it up in my office at home. Look how young I was. What, <laughs> what, what happened? You look the same, man. No, we both, we both were pretty young. You and that was so uh, definitely a, a cool moment. I think a lot of players who ever played for you have that same feeling. 145 and 51 and 15 years at Georgia. Uh, What's the thing that you're most thankful for for your time in Georgia? Um, you know, one of the things that I wanted to be able to do was raise my family. You know, in the coaching profession, as you know, a lot of coaches are moving every two years, every right. other year. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and you know, you're you're chasing a dream as a coach, but then there's a trail of tears behind you. Yeah. And the trail of tears is your wife and your children's tears because they, we got to move again, Dad. We got to move again. Right. You know, and and I just I just didn't want that for my family. So we got to raise our children in one city in one you know wonderful community. You move back to Athens. What what is? It? I mean, obviously we talk about how great of a place Athens is, but right. all the former coaches come back. I think uh, Coach Golf is here. I think right. Don is here. Obviously right. Coach Dooley. Now you're back. I mean. Right. Is Athens just a place you want to come back and retire? <laughs> That's part of it. That's a big part of it. We love Athens. And, you know, I didn't burn many bridges here. So they say if you don't burn bridges, you can cross over them again one day. And right. I, just recently I mentioned that I had, you know, Parkinson's. But I've been known for a good little bit before that. And uh, so part of the reason to come back, you know, if we need more help, where's the best place to be where family is? The best way to say it is... I could do just about anything that I could do a couple years ago. It just takes me longer to do it. Right. Brady, Brady Kinesia, Brady means slow, Kinesia means movement. That's one of the symptoms, slow movement. So, okay. you know, I'm moving slower here uh, than I used to move. Coach took me on a tour of his new Athens home. And while he's moving a little slower these days, he's still as bright and curious as ever. He's a first time author of a new book scheduled to be released in late August. And he's still very interested in the team he used to coach between the hedges. What are your uh, expectations for the Georgia team this year? Obviously, I mean, you get a chance to watch a lot of teams in the ACC, but being here in Athens, I know you still keep an eye on the dogs. Right. Expectations well, you know, if they could get by the first one, which should, should be quite a cool. battle, you know, Clemson, Georgia, yeah. maybe the best uh, non-conference game in the country all year. Mm -hmm. uh, if they could win that one, I was looking at their SEC schedule, and to me, it was pretty favorable. I mean, it's always tough to go through it. So whether or not they beat Clemson or not doesn't matter in terms of the SEC. But I'll say this, whoever loses that game is definitely not out. Right. But you're one step closer to two losses. <laughs> right, true. And two losses can be a problem you when you win it's yeah. still four, only four teams. So, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a game that the whole nation is going to be watching and enjoying. But I think, uh, I think both teams are in great position mm. to have an unbelievable year, and they'll probably play again in the uh, college football playoff. <laughs> I'd like to thank Coach Rick and his wife, Catherine, for inviting me into their home. Coach is a fighter. He's never met a challenge too great, and I'm confident he'll make the most of this life he has in front of him.